Buonasera e benvenuti a tutti. Avevo detto lo scorso anno che speravo di poter fare il mio discorso in italiano quest'anno, ma... Uh, ma non sono ancora pronto. Uh, magari il prossimo anno. Good evening and welcome. Uh, this event is one of the highlights of the year for all of us at Embassy Rome. And this is my second opportunity uh, to, to speak at our annual 4th of July event even though it's on the 2nd of July. The one comment I heard most often about my speech last year was that it was way too long. So <laughs> imagine that, telling me that. So this year I promise to be mercifully brief. First, let me thank you all for coming and welcome once again to Villa Taverna for those who have been here before and for those who have not, welcome for the first time. Uh, this is, um, as Linda and I say, pretty good public housing for us, so we like to invite the public to appreciate all that we have here. And I want to extend my very heartfelt thank you to our Italian guests for joining us on this special occasion. This event, acknowledging and honoring our Declaration of Independence, adopted 239 years ago, is a sacred tradition at American embassies all over the world uh, is being honored right now in these next few days. We continue to honor and revere the legacy of our founding fathers, and we still look to the Declaration of Independence for inspiration and guidance today. And so many other countries across the globe have relied on this declaration together with the United States Constitution as the guiding light to advance the course of democracy, freedom, and equality around the world. One of our greatest presidents, Abraham Lincoln, after he was elected, just elected, on his inaugural journey to Washington in 1861, stopped on, in Philadelphia on his way to Washington and visited Independence Hall where the Declaration of Independence was signed 84 years earlier by 56 delegates. And he noted in his speech, I have never had a feeling politically that did not spring from the sentiments embodied in the Declaration of Independence. For him, it was the bedrock of his political philosophy. Lincoln understood then the simple declarative phrases presented so powerfully and the concepts about governance. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. In other words, they are so obvious that they do not need any further justification. Furthermore, we have certain unalienable rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, they are unalienable because they do not come from government, and therefore, government cannot take them away. And lastly, that the reason we have government is to secure those very rights, and it is government that is based on the consent of the government, of the people, by the people, for the people. As free citizens of Italy and the United States of America, it is our obligation to ensure that the democratic principles of free thought, free speech, and free association are defended in our homes, in the courtrooms, in the halls of government, and in the town squares. Tonight's event is also an opportunity to venerate the very close and special relationship between our two countries. Millions of Americans proudly honor their Italian heritage and their connection to Italy. Through trade, through culture, through security arrangements, we have learned and shared much together over time immemorial. So, happy birthday, America. And once again, thank you all for coming. 
I'm delighted to be here tonight, and I'm particularly honored to be living in this great country and being able to serve here as the United States Ambassador. Now it's time to enjoy the conversation, the food, and the drink, and I told you it would be short. Thank you. <laughs>